It's Monday, June 30th, and Bill's got a cup of joe with a frisky, kicky, feisty kind of robot. And I'd like to welcome you to Modeling Blog Daily, where I just kind of rant on whatever I want to talk about. Well, today I'm going to try to cover some information that might be of interest to all my Indiana Jones fans. Uh, I know that there's a lot of you out there that have built the Indiana Jones models and love them and love the movies and love the everything about Indy and I, I wanted to show you that there's a, a wealth of information out there on Indiana Jones and I've been reading actually uh, the, the books and the books are extracurricular books that are sanctioned by uh, Lucas. The first book I read was the first in the series called The Pearl at Delphi. And uh, you can see with the uh, art that it's done well. The next one is called The Dance of the Giants. I'm reading that one right now. That deals with uh, the Stonehenge uh, structure in England. Indiana Jones and the Seven Veils. These are all done by different authors, by the way. Some are the same, but some are different. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Genesis Deluge. Indiana Jones and the Unicorn's Legacy. I kind of think that what Lucas did is he sat down with a big storyboard kind of thing and he decided what kind of history he wanted for Indy and then he had these authors uh, write books <laughs> because the, the for example the Delphi uh, book that I read Pearl at Delphi is actually in the Lost Journal of Indiana Jones in, in some of the background material Indiana Jones and the Sky Pirates that looks like a really great read. Indiana Jones and the White Witch. The White Witch, by the way, is a, a female archaeologist, competitor kind, a kind of archaeologist. Indiana Jones and the Philosopher's Stone. Look at this one. See, there's our friend from Egypt. Indiana Jones and the Hollow Earth. I'm really looking forward to reading that one because I love all things uh, Julius Verne, and that kind of brings rings true to to the journey to the center of the Earth story. Indiana Jones and the Secret of the Sphinx. There's our friend again. Indiana Jones and the Dinosaur Eggs and Indiana Jones and the Interior World. Uh, so you can see there is a, a wonderful uh, selection of books uh, that actually I think give background information on the character. If any of you have seen the stories and series on the young Indiana Jones, there's a whole history and a, a story uh, board for that character. And Lucas sat down and he just designed his uh, character and the history of that character. And I think that's exactly what he's done here with this series. He's, he's actually given us uh, books if we want to read them. They're not available in hardback, they're all paperback and they're hard to get a hold of but you can get them because they're republishing a lot of them because of the the, the series of movies that are that are out now. Of course you can buy uh, the current books. There is a brand new, Ballantine has a new series of books. They're the first three 
movies in one book and they're they're well written and they do give you background information on the movies guys and uh, the latest book is uh, the uh, the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull by James Rollins and uh, that, that's a wonderful read as well and I covered this uh, Lost Journal of Indiana Jones I want to cover though to, to, to finish up some of the comics that are out there because they are really terrific this is called Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull it's put out by Dark Horse Comics it's $12.95 retail and it, it's very, very well done. It follows a movie to a T. I mean, to a T. Uh, even uh, for the wedding scene at the at the very end. So this is a a wonderful book uh, to get, to read, to enjoy, to have, to to collect. Now the next two are really not very well known, but they were just released about uh, uh, two or three weeks ago. They're put out by Dark Horse Comics, and these are probably the best of the lot that I got, and they're sanctioned by Lucas Books. They're called the Indiana Jones Omnibus 1 and Omnibus 2. There's two volumes, and these are solid comics. They're, they're, there's uh, over 350 pages in each of these books. And Dark Horse is renowned for their their wonderful drawings. Each of these uh, omnibuses contain three massive uh, stories uh, about Indiana Jones, and uh, the stories uh, vary, uh, but. Uh, the first one, for example, they they have the story of the lost city of Atlantis, and uh, but there's three separate stories in each of these Dark Horse uh, books, and I I really enjoy reading these because they're well they're fun. <laughs> the kid the kiddos love them, but Bill, see Bill's a kid at heart, so he loves them too. Look at the art. Look at that the art. It's just beautiful. Anyhow, these are available, and uh, these are more expensive, but there are 350 pages, $24.95 retail. You can buy them for about uh, $16 on Amazon. I would highly recommend, if you get any of them, you get the comic book uh, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and you get both of these, Volume 1 and Volume 2 omnibuses, Put out by Dark Horse Comics. Bill and Red wishing you and yours a wonderful Monday ahead. And my robot and I say sayonara, friend. Sayonara.